All right. So what I'm thinking is this candle right here played out this same right here. This played out over this two day period right here. Right. So you see this this big monster, this beastoid candle. If you would squish this together, it would make the same thing. Like, you know, and, and, and now this this pattern right here continued upwards. Right. This gave one more little up. Now, this candle right here gave a little bit up and then just just pooped out on everybody right just gave the last poop but then it it said hey we're going we're going north um you know we've done a big drop i i just i'm I, i'm 60 40 back to baby bullish i'm still bear i still think we go up and then we do this right i think this is what happens i think we go up here Right, and this is this is a better chart. Let me put this up here. I think we go something like this. Right. And this is a better chart. Let me put that one up there. Get rid of this other one. D D D. Okay. Um, so I think this is a better like Bounce sideways, a little more upper movement. Everybody's going, oh my God, this is amazing. Come up and then turn around and come back down, right? You're going to come up. You're going to challenge all these MAs up here. Um, you know, now you can wick out up into here. We'll see what happens and we'll see if we can get any follow through. But I think this would be, this This is kind of what, that's what my thunk is, right? I, I don't like either scenario right now, right? I don't like either scenario with this candle, this candle really screws the pooch and none of us, nobody can count this candle, right? This is just impossible to count. You know, you have to use trend lines. You have to use your moving averages. Uh, you have to use some Fibonacci on it. I mean, this is, this is the only thing you could do to try to figure out what in the heck happened right here. So the three-day bitstamp chart shows a long print. Still needs two days. Does it still show a long print? Can you can you uh, screenshot that, Bernard? It's still got a long trade on it. Can you can you can you screen share that or just screenshot that and put that in the chat? So, thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. And so I I I still think I I say let this candle settle right here. Let this baby settle. And then you can enter into your trades, right? Let this candle close. Let it close out. All right. And, and I remember this candle on ETH. I remember this candle on ETH. Uh, I dealt with that on ETH a while back. And I didn't like it. Let's let's see if we can hunt down this candle on maybe a two-day. There, look there. See there? Big spinning top candle. Uh, let's see if we can find, I just want to see if we can find another uh, example of this candle. See, there is a, there's another one right there, right? So there's another example of that, that this big, this candle right here, this big, now this is freaking, can you imagine playing this candle? Uh, 11,600 to 14,000, 15K. I mean, people just got absolutely destroyed here just destroyed i mean people were crying people woke up they went to bed crying they woke up crying um but it's so funny you look down here and you're like oh my god this candle is so wicked and then you zoom up here and you're like pss, pss, whatever right like crypto wussies right we're like a bunch of crypto sissies right now Right, the people who are trading back here, they were like boss mode getting wrecked. And and we're like crypto sissies now here, playing with our little teeny tiny candles. Aren't they so cute? So I would just let this baby play out now. A spinning top, you know, a spinning top, it, it shows a reversal of some type, right? I mean, it does show a reversal. Now this is wicked lower, and I don't like the formation of this candle, right? I don't like the formation of this candle right here. You see, it's it's outside the body. I mean, it clearly, you know, the wick clearly closes a lot lower. 
So I think this might have just a little more bullish momentum in it. And there's that. And then let's, let's go look at three day. I want to see. So there's that same candle on the three day. See, this looks better. This is a lot better. There's your three day candle right there. And I think that three day candle closes today too. Yeah, it sure does. Look, another spinning top candle, three day candle, a little last oomph. And then it dies, right? A little last oomph, and then it dies. And I compare this area all the time, right? There's a spinning top candle, a little oomph, spinning top candle, spinning top candle. Look, these are these are kind. I mean, you know, this is this is kind of at the bottom of the reversal of the trend, right? Kinda. See, this one was higher. This one is a little higher. What's with the bear cross on the two-day? Uh, let's go take a look at the cross on the two-day. No cross on the two-day. No, no, no cross on the two-day. This will take this will take a long time to play out. I don't think these might touch. These might touch, right? Yeah, these will only these will just come closer together. So if this was a seven, this would pierce it. But because it's the thirty, so all you do is if you take your cursor and you just move it, it'll jump for you on the top of the candles. And you can get a good idea of the average that the candle moves, right? So these might come together. Uh, yellow and red, yeah, this is my 128 and uh, 200. Super slow moving. Super slow moving would be the first time they would have crossed this year. Good eye, good eye. Let's go back and we can see like the only time this has ever crossed bearish would have been back here. Here you go. So this is the last time this crossed bearish right there. Oof. Look at that. Last time this baby crossed bearish, it was just a kick in the holy holy hell of pants. Right? Look, you had one more little up. And then this thing just tanked out, right? So you had your, your cross. And then it went up. This And that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a little bit of up. Like So let's zoom in here. Right, so there's your cross, and then you get this little up, and then this thing just freaking dies out, right? Now, this candle right here was a pretty wicked candle, too. You know, we haven't seen this candle, and we're definitely not at the top of a trend. This is a lot easier to play. This would have been all the way here at the top, where we're at the bottom of a trend. So that doesn't help us out. All right, we're more like this candle right here. Right, we're looking, we're looking kind of like this candle or this candle or this candle. All right, let's go to our three day. Let's see what we had in our three day. Oh, look, so that three day had the same cross at the same time. Oh, totally different. Wow, look at the two-day and the three-day down there had their same cross at the same time. So if you go out to the three-day, 6,700 would be your top target. Like, right, you'd, you'd look to, to penetrate this. To penetrate this 7MA would be the goal to hit the, the top target of 30MA. So that would be your, your target here. Listen, you bounced off here. You're, you're bouncing in this channel now. Now what's happening is you're in a squeeze channel, right? So you're in this squeeze channel between this and this. And even here, you know, there's, there's your top side, 7,200. So this is just going to keep moving down. And what's happening is this 200 is forcing everything up. The 50 is forcing everything down. These are both very heavy moving averages, extremely heavy. The purple, the, the purple 100 is like everybody's bitch. Right, but the the fifty is a boss, right? Look at look at how the fifty bossed this out, right? The fifty bossed that 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 right there. The fifty is a boss moving average. It just comes down here. It's got a lot of power, a lot of strength. It's hard to get through it, and it's just holding this down. Then your two hundred, your two hundred, just super hardcore heavy. So your two hundred, super slow moving, just kind of cruising up here, and then this is these these are all gonna crash together soon. Right? These are all going to crash together. And as soon as these do crash together, it's going to be really ugly. 
Okay, let's take a look at our, so we can go back over here. We want to, uh, let's do this, a weekly, three day. So this is our three day, so let's, uh, let's kind of play this. There you go. Okay, so top side for the three day. You've got the uh, 50 MA, 7200, charging down. Got the 30 MA, right? You got the 30 MA at 6740. 30 MA, 6740. And this all, this will be, this will be, this will just stay level, right? This will stay level because the price action, right? And then you got the 200 as support at the uh, 6100, just 6100, boom, 6100. Okay. So you're just gonna bang around in this channel right now, right? So here's the thing, it's gonna be really hard to break this, t this 200. If you break this 200, right? So we're gonna move, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, I'm gonna put a horizontal ray right here. All right, so this is bearish, but really bearish. We're gonna, we're gonna shrink this thing up, right? We're gonna put this in here. Break three day. 200 MA and shit gets real. Okay, so listen, we're squeezed inside of this channel right here, and since we're squeezed in this channel, um, listen, the fifth, the the if it's the the two hundred, or the uh, or the the seven ma, the seven ma is your water ma, right? This thing's gonna get played through. I still think this is gonna get played through, come up just a little bit, and then it's gonna end up down. You know what I'm saying? And you could even. Could even put one more, like a wick arrow, right? This would be just kind of a wick arrow, and then it would be a, a dump. Right, because this moving average right there. Okay. Okay, we're looking good, and that's kind of my thought. Still shows a long print. You sure it doesn't close today? Evil, you sure it doesn't close today? I think it's been three days. All right, so Evil has uh, has his chart right here, and oh, sorry, buddy, and yeah, there's the long print. So you got two long prints. So Bitstamp and Binance both printed a long on the three day, right? Be warned that the, the beast, the, the beast scalper is amazing calling the three day longs, okay? It is really good at calling those three day longs. Okay, so for, I am done. I'm gonna upload this session right here and then we're good. Thank you guys. 
Oh, 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 let me put this. I'll put your charts back. Let me put your charts all back. Oh, come on. Seriously. I hate that when it does that. I get it, but I hate it. Okay. Bink. Bink. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so I'm still bearish. I'm just, I think we get a little baby bounce here. I think we get a little, I think the bears have been giving, have been given a little hopeism. So let's see how this plays out. All right. Later, everybody.